if you see this, I'm sure the next clip is going to be future me telling you that it's true. So we'll see. Or I don't know. I might put this in the vlog and it might be future me telling you that it's not true. I don't know yet. I've not decided. Oh my God. We might be moving. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my booey! It's so Oh hi Di! Mr. Fussin' me for talking to you. Oh hi Di Putty Boy. Hide me if you can't with me. Eee, my booby! <laughs> you thinking about it? Oh hi Di Booby! So I know a lot of you are not happy with me because I left you hanging, but I'm left hanging too. I have not heard back from her yet. Um, I talked to her on Tuesday, so it's been two days of waiting, and I'm like, I did probably jump the gun a little bit because I still don't know for sure if we're supposed to be moving yet, but I may or may not have went out yesterday and got boxes and packed all my shelves packed up one of the hall closets like I went through and packed everything up um packed all of the drawers in the kitchen <laughs> my desk is now empty um yeah I did all of that in one day yesterday I didn't vlog because I had the worst freaking headache and I kept a headache all day long no matter what I did I had a really bad headache so, didn't vlog. But today, um, I still have like a butt ton of boxes that I'm going to go ahead and fill up. Like I'm going to take the decorations off the wall. And I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but not really. Because whether we're moving in 10 days, 9 days now, or whether we are moving um, in a month still needs to be done. And all of this stuff I'm packing, like all this stuff from my desk drawers, the books, um, the kitchen cabinets, some of the closets, all this stuff is not things that we need on a day to day. It's just stuff that we do need. Um, I'm also throwing away like yesterday, my poor kids hated me because they had to take trash off. And how many, how many trips did you think you took Solomon three or four, five, five trips back and forth, all three of them taking a bag or a box at a time five trips a piece so that's a lot and there's still trash out on the porch not like food trash but like we ain't taking none of this trash so today i have to go to pick up a birthday present for one of solomon's teammates because his birthday party is saturday and yeah gotta go get picked that up and also our new apartment everything has car fam so i have to get a vacuum cleaner because we don't have one because we only have hard floors through the house so i need to go get a vacuum cleaner and i also need to pick up two new things for the bathrooms like two new shower curtains two new toothbrush holders two new little trash cans two new rugs for two bathrooms i've got to figure out something that's like a gender neutral that both genders of our children will love in their bathroom which nobody knows what they want um me and john are going to decorate our room i'm super excited we're redoing everybody's bedrooms we're redoing everybody's bathrooms because fresh house fresh start that's what we're doing so that's what we're doing today. Got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna take you with me. Hopefully it's not boring. So I got mom with me. We're waiting on Mimi to come out of Walgreens. She's in there trying to do extreme <laughs> couponing. <laughs> and she don't know what she's doing. So we just came out here and pretended like we don't know her. But I went in there. So one of Solomon's teammates, it's his birthday and we are going to his birthday party on Saturday. Well. I had him this like really pretty collage photo of himself that I was gonna make into a poster. I picked it up. Number one, it was not the right size. Number two, it had like these black streaks on the side of it. And it was blurry. It looked AKA, like it looked like garbage. It looked like crap. So I've come out here, opened it up, turned around, went back in and returned it. So this guy that's in, in there, 
number one, he probably hates us. And number two, he needs to take up some cold medicine because he's literally in there going and wiping, and his, wiping nose his nose with his hand. hand and handing me money. And I'm just like, that's how you get the freaking cooties right so there. so gross. <laughs> like you work in a pharmacy, dude. Get some cold medicine. Or get some toilet paper or Kleenex or a handkerchief. Something. something. Where we have prom dresses next to the overalls. <laughs> All of the overalls are with all the prom dresses because, you know, we like to keep our fancies together. So, I just walked in the door just a few minutes ago and I packed another box for I don't know what reason because I've still not heard back from her. I'm beginning to panic a little. Like, if you know something, tell me. 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 Right now, I'm just trying to get i mean look at this disaster and i know that it seems like a disaster but it's this shouldn't this chair shouldn't be there that needs to be moved this is from where i'm sorting clothes this is just all kinds of crap the kids have drug out this is clean laundry that's being sorted and pillows and wrapping paper i got out of the closet and then you have over here you got like boxes piles of books and all this crap and it's just like my house <laughs> looks like a disaster and you guys know that drives me insane but they ain't nothing i can do about it because i don't think i've ever seen anybody pack their house up and it look neat but like my ocd is freaking out it's like don't do this but it has to be done so i don't even know why i'm yammering i don't even know why i'm telling you this i did i did do one thing today I'm just like, I'm moving and I'm throwing everything away. Let me buy some new stuff. So I got Olivia, she needs some new tennis shoes and I got her these Jojo Siwa shoes. Oh my! And I was like, what is the most loud, um, obnoxious looking shoes possible? That's the one she's getting because that's what she likes. I do have laundry going as well. That's the other thing that we're doing. I got laundry rolling in the laundry room. I was like, we have no freaking towels. Where are all of our towels? Um, half of them are in the girls' room in the floor because, you know, that's where they belong. And the other half of them was just literally in the bathroom. So, yeah, got a load of towels going, got some sheets going. Oh, and one good thing, if, I don't know if you can tell or not. It looks like a spot, but I think it's just a, a light color. But I shampooed my couches a little bit ago. So that was something else I did. I've only been here for about 45 minutes. I've not had coffee, but I'm feeling pretty energized. So I'm getting stuff done. I've had like the most ferocious headache all day. I had one Wednesday too. And I, I got up and I was like, I'm just not even gonna vlog. I'll just wait. And if, you know, the lady from the apartment calls, then I'll have great news to share and then I'll pull out the camera and tell somebody she's never called. <laughs> it's like after three, I'm in line getting kids and she never called. And the crazy thing is, is like I've even called a couple of times, called the apartment and nobody's answering. So I'm thinking maybe she might not even be in the office. I was really hoping to know something before the weekend. That's not gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen y'all. And thank God my weekend is like extremely busy so that hopefully like it keeps my mind off of it and keeps me distracted. Otherwise, like I will drive myself crazy. I am a worrier. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. I'm a worrier and I'm a planner and I'm a type A. Like I like to have all my freaking ducks in a row. John even told me today when I told him, I had like a breakdown. I was like, I am upset. She will not answer the phone and I don't know what to do. Should I pack or should I just clean? And he was like, baby doll, you worry about five steps ahead instead of like worrying about what's in front of you at the moment. He was like, just take it a step at a time. And he's right. He was like, even if she calls Monday, we don't have to move that weekend. He was like, we have until sometime in January before we even have to move out of where we're at now. He was like, there's no rush. But to me, I'm like, if I no, I can move. It's time to go. Like, I've got to do it right then because that's just me. That's just my personality. Like, it's just how I am. And so, yeah. 
I am upset spaghetti. How do I know if I need to pack more, which I've still been packing like non-essential things. Like my walls are now officially totally bare, no books, no nothing, packing up everything. But I am, I'm just, I'm frustrated. Like I wanna know and I can't know because I don't think she's in the office. Now it's not like Olivia, I can't know. So I said that it was a good thing that the weekend was busy so that it doesn't feel like time is moving really slow. And thank God it's been very chaotic. We thought we were gonna have to go shopping at Costco with Emily. And then when we showed up, it literally, we had, there was one parking space left and I was like, we're not doing that. So before the birthday party starts, um, it's in the same shopping center as my favorite pet store. So what are we gonna do, Dump? What are we gonna go do? We're gonna go pet some animals. He's so excited. But Mara ended up going with Mimi. She's with Emily for the night. Dewey's at home with her daddy, having a date. And me and Dump Truck on a date. We're gonna go pet some dogs and go to a jumping trampoline thing that he can't even jump because his foot's still broken. But he does get to ride a go-kart. So that's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's not happy about this whole situation. I know. I know. I'm in love with this bag. Oh. Oh. So. one in the corner. The darker color? Yeah. You want me to tell you something else interesting about golden retrievers? What? See his ear hair? If you go to buy a golden retriever pup, if you look at that color of their ears, that's what color they'll be full grown. So if they got dark ears, they'll be dark colored. If they got light colored, they'll be black. What do you think about that? You can literally tell uh, Olivia you got to pet a reindeer. Pet me? Yeah. I'm petting a reindeer. It was super busy in there. Yeah. And it was like crazy. I guess because it's the weekend. I think this is like, no, this is the second weekend before Christmas. We've not got much longer. But it was, it was insane. There was dogs everywhere, dogs barking. Yeah. Got to meet a pit bull when we went in that looked exactly like winter and it came from the same rescue. So that was pretty cool.
Well, we're on our way home now, and that was a ton of fun. That was a great birthday party. And uh, I am tired, even though I did not jump. And once I got there, I realized that the other moms were jumping. And then I was like, I don't know why I'm dressed up. I should have come prepared to jump. But we're going to a birthday party tomorrow, and we're going to go swimming. I am going to go swimming, so you probably won't see a lot of that party because I don't want to get my phone wet. But I have to say something. Being homeschooled and like being bullied really bad when I was like high school age in our church's youth group, I struggle really bad with like feeling like I fit in and feeling like the odd man out. And a lot of times I'm really freaking socially awkward. But these women have never made me feel uncomfortable or made me feel awkward in any way. Like they took me in and they are so good to me and I adore these women, like I've never had mom friends and I would consider them mom friends and I love them. And I'm so excited for football season. I actually was editing um, a video that we're gonna show at the banquet. And I was looking at it and I was like, I miss football season. Like I miss the camaraderie and the games and the watch and dump truck, plow people. I miss that. I miss it. But I, I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel so happy to know that I finally like have mommy friends and I don't feel awkward or I don't feel like I don't fit in or I don't belong like I really love these women <laughs> it's so weird but I'm just like I love them and I'm so glad that they're my friends but they do they just treat me like I'm one of them and it's awesome and I love it and I don't even know why I'm rambling on about this <laughs> okay let's me and dump got some Chinese food because I'm starving I didn't eat because I was afraid that if I ate pizza, it might make my belly hurt. And I don't want my belly to be hurting the whole time we were at a party. So I'm now eating Chinese food. And Dump's just eating Chinese food because he's always hungry. He's a grown boy. <laughs> so the morning's just started and it's already chaotic. I am wearing the exact same outfit that I wore yesterday. I don't even care wearing it. It looked cute. And I wasn't about to try to find something else to wear. I'm headed to church right now. I have all the food that I've meal prepped for everybody in the bags, ready to be delivered. As soon as church is over, I've got to straight, shoot straight back home, throw together some chicken enchiladas um, that I'm taking to my brother's house this evening, putting them in the fridge. Then I have to leave, go pick up a birthday gift, go grab lunch, drop something off to my mom, go to a birthday party, swim at this birthday party, come back, pick up the enchiladas, get dressed, and then head to my brother's house for a cookie make at night. It's gonna be crazy today. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I kinda like crazy busy because it makes me feel like, you know, I'm accomplishing something. And also it keeps me from sitting and worrying and stressing over the house, the apartment. And if you wonder why my van keeps beeping, it's because my kids were so kind to not shut the van door so the van door is open while I'm driving. So it keeps beeping to let me know my van door is open. And this guy's gonna rear in me. Dude. I really thought he was about to rear in me. I'm not helping you up. You can get up here by yourself. You do it all the time. I'm not helping you up here. You can do it. You do it all the time. See? You crazy. Dog. Dog. So our night did not even go close to the way I planned it. <laughs> but when does my life ever go the way I plan it? Um, we were at the pool party when we got a call that mom was being rushed by ambulance to the hospital for a kidney stone. Um, she's had kidney stones for like 40 years now since so she's been like 12. And she gets them all the time, but this one was pretty bad. So she ended up going to the hospital. So we had to cancel our Christmas cookie making night. Um, I think we're just not gonna do it this year. So I just got back from picking her up at the hospital. That's why this one's being clingy. Cause it misses mommy, it meet me. Oh my God, it misses mommy. Um, but uh, I made 40 chicken enchiladas, 40. So I sent Emily a pan. I had to go pick up Mara from her house where she spent the night with Emily. 
Uh, I drove to Emily's, picked Mara up, dropped them off. A huge pan of chicken enchiladas. I still have a huge pan of it. I got like butt tons of food. I have, I bought five pounds of chocolate chip cookie dough that I now have to get rid of. And I've got the stuff to do these lemon crinkle cookies. All this crap for this party that we're not going to do now. Ella, we're going to have to eat a lot of cookies. Are you okay with eating a lot of tooties? Are you okay with eating tooties? You can't have the ones with chocolate. You would die. You don't want to die, do you? I didn't think so. They today just didn't do the way it was supposed to, but that's okay. Stuff happens. <laughs> Who's knocking on my door? Don't you let them do that. Get them out. Dewey, this is five pounds. Five? Five pounds of chocolate chip cookie dough. Mama bought a jacket at five pounds. And the CDC says don't eat it raw, but Mama says nobody tells me what to do. You want to buy it? No. <laughs> it's just cookie dough. We're going to have to eat cookies for like 10 years now. <sighs> Let's get this edited. I'm so done waiting to find out about this apartment. I am not going to call. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go over there because I want to find out today.